Welcome to Crypto Shorts brought to you by Pink Digital. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like and share this video. Apple tightens rules on crypto and NFTs. Apple clarified its rules on cryptocurrencies and non-fungible tokens, NFTs, laying out what apps are allowed to do with these technologies. On crypto exchanges, Apple said in an updated Apple Store rules on Monday that apps must facilitate transactions or transmissions of cryptocurrency on an approved exchange, but the app can only be offered in countries or regions where it has licensing and permission to offer operate a crypto exchange. Apps may not use their own mechanisms to unlock content or functionality such as cryptocurrencies or cryptocurrency wallets. Apple has clarified the rules on NFTs, which can be a digital representation of a real-life asset such as artwork and are usually purchased using cryptocurrency. The guidelines say apps must use in-app purchases to sell NFTs and sell services related to them such as minting, listing, and transferring of these tokens. Apps can also allow users to browse NFT collections owned by others. So so long as the apps do not include buttons, external links, or other calls to action that direct customers to purchasing mechanisms other than in-app purchase. All of this means that any sort of trading service for NFTs must use Apple's in-app payment mechanism. Apple takes an up to 30% cut of in-app payments. While this does not ban NFTs in any way, it does put a major restriction on the kind of services that can be offered involving NFTs given the 30% slice Apple takes. Australian regulators take legal action. Australian regulators have taken legal action against the operators of cryptocurrency coin, alleging that the business behind the scheme made several misleading statements about the coin, announcing that it has commenced civil penalty proceedings in the Federal Court of Australia. The Australian Securities and Investments Commission, ASIC, said more than 79,000 consumers may have believed coin complied with financial services laws when, according to ASIC, it did not. Coin, which is operated by BPS Financial was launched in 2020 by co-founders Raj Pathak and Tony Wise. According to the company's website, holders can use coin at almost 38,000 merchants. The token's value changes according to its buying power with these merchants and depending on how it and depending on how it trades on the block trade exchange BTX, the website says. But ASIC points out that BPS itself operates the BTX exchange and alleges that increasingly restrictive limits were imposed on those trying to exchange their coin tokens for Australia. Million. Therefore, it alleged that BPS made false, misleading, or deceptive representations when it said coin token holders would be able to exchange them for other cryptocurrencies or fiat through independent exchanges. Other misleading statements made by the company, according to ASIC, include the idea that the number of merchants participating in the scheme was increasing and the coin facility had regulatory approval in Australia. BitOasis signs deal with MasterGuard. BitOasis, a Middle East-focused cryptocurrency exchange based in the United Arab Emirates, said on Tuesday it had signed an agreement with MasterGuard to launch payment cards linked to cryptocurrencies, they said in a joint statement. The cards will allow BitOasis customers in the Middle East and North Africa to make purchases at points of sale or online, thereby adding consumer protection, such as provisions for dispute resolution and refunds, which doesn't exist today when paying with a digital asset, the companies said. Currently, cryptocurrency payments and cash-outs are considered cumbersome, with the overwhelming majority of merchants not accepting such payments directly, the statement added. The partnership will address these pain points and further drive customer awareness and crypto adoption in the region. The Middle East and North Africa is the region with the fastest growing adoption of cryptocurrency in the world, with the volume of crypto received there jumping 48% in the first half of 2022, blockchain researcher chain analysis said in a report earlier this month. That's it for Crypto Shorts, brought to you by Pink Digital. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like and share this video. And don't forget to comment below. Thank you for tuning in. Pink Digital News, signing out.